Hello, everyone, and good morning, and welcome to my electronic scoreboard for Stratomatic Football. This is the uh, super advanced version, and what I've done is taken my uh, previous project, which was a score electronic scoreboard for Stratomatic Elementary version football, and I've uh, taken it out of a uh, closet after a couple years of non-use and updated it using super advanced rules so um, i'm really tickled with it i just wanted to kind of showcase some of uh, the features that uh, i've incorporated in it and i uh, get some feedback maybe on uh, what i might have here i uh no matter what i will be enjoying it and um, interesting enough i'll show you how i started off with this this is how it all started off uh, with uh, updating the scoreboard to a certain point where I had uh, the game board down here in front of my keyboard, you can see, and I had my uh, defensive uh, markers here, the two safeties, two cornerbacks in red, three linebackers in blue, and my linemen in green with my uh, cards laid out in this manner to play. Then I included the uh, game board into the scoreboard where I can move the players around and so then what what it looked like was I had my game board up here and I just had my cards on the desktop well now I've evolved it and I really like that tactile piece of having the cards in the hand I really do it just kills me sometimes to I have this internal battle because I want the cards, but yet I know I can make them appear on the screen and it kind of saves a little time. But so I'll go back and forth. Sometimes I'll use the cards and sometimes I won't, but it is an internal battle, believe me. So uh, this is where I've come to now where I can nicely display the cards um, on the screen. And um, got the quarterback, if the quarterback was to run, I've got the offensive card and the defense in this case would be the Bears. So I have the 76 Steelers and the 1979 Chicago Bears. So uh, I've got my lineups here and I've incorporated into this a um, what, what is called an offensive, let's see. I scoured the internet and I found some teams that are actually online that someone created in Excel, which is perfect because then I can do digitally cut these puppies. I don't know if I still have that file open yet. So this is the 79 bears. I can digitally cut these from this Excel file and make them as cards on the screen. So this is the 76 Steelers and the 79 bears. And I found online uh, what someone is calling it's a it's a it's an amazingly comprehensive and just amazing work of art. Um, it's a program guide, offensive card program guide uh, for def defense calling and offense calling. I'm trying to get the words right what they call it, Offensive Card Program Guide and a Defensive Card Program Guide. These are available online as well. And this is what I am using for my uh, defensive play calling and offensive uh, play calling. These things are nothing short of amazing. So to kind of show you how this works and how I've integrated into the game, uh, the electronic scoreboard, we have Chicago. They're actually uh actually pittsburgh has the ball they trail three to nothing they've had two missed field goals i think we're in the second quarter chicago has made one field goal bob thomas made a 39 yarder doug plank has recovered a, made an interception as well as jack ham for the steelers and on that jack ham interception the steelers are now first and 10 on the bears 23 the helmet here indicating the Steelers have the ball, and of course the possession football is on the Steelers' side. 
So the way this works is I've got all these defensive and offensive cards for the uh, defense 3-4 and, and defense 4-3 and the offensive uh, program guide here to make the calls. And these are nothing short of amazing. Have I said that? So right now, both teams are in 4-3. You look at a first and a 10. So we have first and 10 or less. So the normal would be to click here. But we have all these other options. If I want to do a stop run defense, stop pass, red zone, pass rush, extreme rush. So I'll go with the regular, normal. And we have our dice roll down here. It's a five with a D20 of six. So five. So it's going to be a pass. So I immediately do this to remember that the defense is in pass situation on the game board. And the D20 is not is within one to 15. So the right linebacker is going to double team number four, which is the split end. That's the right linebacker will be double teaming the split end. D6, uh, D20 is a six. So the free safety will be double teaming the flanker number three. Okay, and it's a pass. So we're done with that. And we go to the offensive card. And again, we have all these options. And they're all just amazing. So we have first and 10. Uh, Normal, protect the passer, the run game, passing game, strong pass, or Hail Mary. And all these different situations for all these charts. So we'll go normal. <clears throat> and we have an 8. So go to 8. We look at the white die. We have white die columns for the offense. And it's a 5, so it'll be on this column. So we have a flat pass right. The D20 down there is an 8. So it's a flat pass right to the flanker. And then we have a little note here, use this player, if selected player not eligible for type of play. So we have eight, white die five, flat pass right to the flanker. So flat pass to the right, the offense is right. So on the defense, it'll be to the left here. We do have a linebacker in there. So we'll go ahead and run the play at this point. Uh, flat pass to the flanker. And I'll show you how this works. <clears throat> Terry Bradshaw is looking for Lynn Swan on a flat pass to the offense right, defense left. It's a three, so we're looking at the offensive card. Terry Bradshaw, flat pass. The guess was right. And the uh, 2D6 is an eight. So we're looking at the receiver card. So we go to Lynn Swan, the flanker. And we have a flat pass right. And we have our secondary roll down here. And it's a six. So it's an incomplete pass. So we have a second and 10. And again, we have second, eight or more, seven or less, defensive card B. We have a roll four with a D20 of four. And it's just a straight out, no change in the formation, but it's a run. And we'll go to the offensive call. We have a four with a white die of three. Uh, first, we have to pull it up. And it's second and eight or more. So we have an eight with a white dive two. So we'll be looking at this column flat pass left to number 12, split in. So we have a flat pass to the left, all fences left, to 12. And that was the split in. So flat pass to the split in. And let's run it. Bradshaw is looking for Frank Lewis. We have a defensive card. We're looking at 11 on the flat pass, and it's wrong. Oh, it doesn't matter in the advanced. So we're looking at how many men are in that zone, and it's one linebacker. So we're looking at this column, and it's uh, an 11, so it's a gain of three. So that's a three-yard gain. We're facing a third and seven at the 20 yard line. So we could go here, we could go red zone if we wanted. And so let's try it. We'll go third and seven, we'll go the red zone. We have a 10 with a D20 of 10. So the left linebacker is gonna double team the flanker. And let's see, six to 10. Right tackle is gonna blitz, I'm sorry. The middle linebacker is going to do a right tackle blitz. Puts him right here in this 
right tackle blitz zone. Um, let's see, we are in the 6 to 15 range, so the right linebacker is going to do an end run blitz. We had a pretty good blitz happen in there. And then 10, a free safety will go up into the look in zone. And it is a pass defense. So then we'll set up an offense, uh, third and seven. And we'll say, we'll go, well, they definitely want to get three. So we'll say, we'll stay in the normal play call area, see what it comes up with. It's a white die of one, so we'll stay in this column with the five, and it's a white die one, so it's off tackle, left draw. So those linebackers are going to be nil. They're going to be taken out on a draw play, on a, on, an off, on a passing blitz, on a pass defense with blitzing linebackers. They are going to be fooled, and they're taken out of the equation. And then we're going to run it to the number one feature back, as I like to look at it, the number one back. So it's an off tackle, left draw be the right on the defensive side we're going right here with a draw so here we go number of featured back will be Franco on a draw play and we're going off the defenses card on an off tackle and there is a linebacker there but he is nil and void on a pass blitz against a draw so it's zero linebackers against a roll of nine and now we'll be looking at the defensive tackle. He either makes a good stop of zero or plus six. We have the white dies of five, so the guy has to be a five or better to get the no gain. If he's um, not a five or better, then it's a six yard gain. So we're looking at the, uh, the right tackle. He's the only guy that can make the decision on this right here. So it's either zero or a six yard gain. We look at the defense card. The right tackle is Alan Page, and he is a four, so he does not meet the five threshold. So that's a six-yard pickup for Franco. If he was a five, uh, like Dan Hampton there, or a six, he would have made the stop with no gain. But uh, in this case, with Alan Page being a four, it's a six-yard pickup for Franco, leaving us fourth and one. Now, um, for the sake of this video, we will go ahead and go for it. But typically, I would go ahead and uh, kick um, using specialty card two, and Roy Jarella would kick the field goal. But it's fourth and one, and we're making a YouTube video, so let's go for it. We have defensive card. We have fourth and three or less. Uh, we'll go with short yard defense. It's an 11. So we're doing um, end run. Oh, I'm in the offensive. I want defense. Third, oh, short yard defense, red zone. Eight, we're going to do a six on that is a run, the D20. So we're doing a right linebacker blitz at the right tackle. Now, this is a run blitz. So he will, oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. It's a, he'll, the middle linebacker is going up to stuff the run at the nose tackle. Okay, and it's a run. So that's the only move. The middle linebacker is going to stuff up that hole there. On the offensive side, we have a fourth, three or less. And we'll see what it comes up with on a seven. With this, it's a short pass, and we're going for the tight end. So we're going short pass, tight end. Let's we'll see how this works out. We're going to the defenses card on a short pass. We have three men in the zone. The two red die add up to four. It's a 12 yard gain, and that, my folks, is a touchdown. 12 yard gain. Oh, they came up two yards shy. So they're on the two yard line, first and goal. All right. Well, I'm out of time.
Uh, just wanted to get this out there, and I will catch you on the forums with more to come.